Hello and welcome to this video. As a sort of extension of last week's video where I attempted to make a piece of home decor and didn't exactly succeed, this week I'm going to show you uh, three examples of times that I did mostly succeed in making home decor. And that is going to be while I show you all of my homemade pillows. Uh, yes, I'm gonna discuss what I did correctly, what I did well, things that I like about the things that I made, and then I'm gonna go through and discuss what I will change in future pillow making endeavors, as I definitely have learned some things about making pillows that I wish I had known when I started making pillows. The best one out of all of these by far is this one that I did not make, that my mother made. Here's what she did right. She, A, used a pillow form, use a pillow form. Second of all, she made the squares smaller than the pillow form. And uh, yes, those are two things which I neglected to do a couple of separate times in different combinations. But this is a beautiful pillow. Uh, it's half knit, half crochet actually. So she would knit and then pick up and crochet and then pick up and knit and then pick up and crochet. I mean, she had the idea for it and I was like, that's a dumb idea and way too much work. And although it did take her forever, it turned out really cool and I was very much wrong about it not being a good idea. So kudos to her. We actually, I have this because I made one she liked and uh, you know what? Maybe I should go get it. I'll go get it. Okay, so this is the pillow that I made, which I worked very hard on and then um, decided, it's not that I don't like it. I think it's very cool. It really, man, it really is cool. It, I basically, I made it out of scrap yarn. So I had just a little bit of a bunch of different yarns left and it's all different weights as you can see. This is much thicker than like this, which is sock yarn. And I used some yarns twice and some yarns only once. Here she is. I think she's beautiful, really. Like on this camera, I'm really impressed with my own <laughs> uh, workmanship here. However, I don't think that it matches any of my things. I don't think it matches anything in my space. I don't think it, it's not my style really, even though I think it's really beautiful, I don't, it doesn't match. This, however, matches a lot of my stuff. She made this pillow, I made that pillow, and then we traded because we each liked the other's pillow better. So, worked out perfectly. This, you know, honestly, I did a good job here, especially with the fact that A, I used a pillow form, and B, once again, I made the squares smaller than the pillow form and then stretched them. So actually, my first pillow making experience was much, much more successful than my two latest pillow making experiences, which I will get to momentarily. This I made right after I made this one. It's very little. It's only a little because I ran out of yarn, but um, I think it's really nice. The only thing I wish I'd done a little differently on this is I didn't use a pillow form here. I just stuffed it. It's just very flattened now. Like I can't, it's fine. It's not a bad pillow. It's a throw pillow. Like I don't use it as, you know, for my head. So it's it's not super smashed, but it does make it, you know, it's, it'll be hard to wash. I don't actually know if I can wash any of these pillows, but anyway, that's the only thing I wish I'd done differently about this one. And I would like it if it was a little bigger, but other than that, I really like this one um, otherwise. And it looks very nice on the bed behind me. It makes for a very good little like red pop. Um, let's see, the next pillow that I made was this one, which is seed stitch on both sides. So I actually, I have this side pointing out usually as opposed to this side. Um, this side isn't bad. It just, to me, it looks very grandma, like the white with the like pastel-y kind of green, whereas if it's just pastel green, it's nice. Here was the mistake I made here. I made this way too big. Like I'll find it sometimes and the side will be like messed up because it's, it's not stretching. Here's the problem though. I, I kind of just eyeballed it. I didn't make it for a pillow form. I was just like, I'll just fill it with stuffing. And it sort of fit this pillow form, so I was like, great. I'll use the pillow form then, here we are. It's just slightly too big. It works perfectly as a pillow if, you know, you know, it's underneath a bunch of pillows. I love a ton of pillows. So it's just thrown, you know, haphazardly onto a bed. It looks nice, you know, it, it, but that is the thing that I wish I had changed. So either way, it does work nicely as a pillow. It just isn't the perfect pillow. This side really kind of looks better because this looks like piping. Anyway, so this is, second to most recent, the most recent pillow I made, and this is the most interesting one, is this one, which I think, again, beautiful pillow. And I, I, these are also a mixture of crochet and knitting. So all the other ones, this was knit. All of them were knit so far, except for this one and this one, which I love circle pillows. Um, and you can knit circles. It's just so much easier to crochet a circle in my opinion. Here's what went wrong with this one. First of all, I was again gonna just like, 
stuff it with stuffing. Well, so then at the end, when I started to do that, I realized you could see through it and it didn't look like how I wanted it to. So my mom said, hey, you know, I have lycra. She makes figure skating dresses. Uh, she's like, you know, I have lycra in both of those colors. Why don't we just make a pillow form? And I said, beautiful. But it ended up a little bit too small. So I think what I might do is take out the top stitching of this and uh, make a better, make a just a bigger pillow form, just slightly bigger, because this isn't stretched out at all. And I feel like if it was stretched, it could be like, I mean, I think like four inches bigger in diameter and it wouldn't be all, you know, foldable. Like it's very, it's like this pillow form lost weight and these are its old pants, you know? But anyway, I do love the way this looks, but I think I am, especially now that my finals are almost over, gonna go in and just make a new pillow form and uh, you know that'll that'll solve any problems which I might have had with this pillow so in total we have four pillows that I created uh, about 50 things that I learned about those pillows and I will continue to make more pillows with the knowledge that I have acquired from messing up the past ones so I hope that uh, watching one successful home decor DIY that I did inspired you to do your own home decor DIY. Uh, if it did and you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.